The temperature has dropped and the high school winter sports season is here. Hi everybody, I'm Liam Tomaszewski and we welcome you to this DAF Media Special as we preview the 2023-2024 high school winter sports season. As always, FCAC and state titles are up for grabs this year and all teams are looking to make more memories. As always, the expectations are high out on the ice. Boys head coach Mac Budd has a young, talented team that is ready to fill in the gaps left by a strong graduating senior class. Last season, the Wave finished their season with a loss to New Canaan in the Division I state quarterfinals. That loss will help fuel Darianne this season. Yes, I think we had a lot of success last year winning that uh, FCAC championship, and I think what we can build on is that momentum we had. Uh, I think we have a lot of returners as well, strong returners, so that momentum will be easier to carry out throughout the season, which I think will help a lot. And then if you're winning an FCAC, then you got your eyes on state as well, and I think that's uh, one of the key, key components of our team that is uh, different than most teams in the past. Like in my past years, we haven't won many championships, but I think having that win last year is definitely easier to build that momentum on. What Ellie and I have been focusing on is uh, making sure we get all these guys together, Make sure it's super inclusive. Make sure everyone feels as if you know, like they're part of the team because they are. And we try to have that as one of our like main core values for the team. So in practice, you know, we're just pushing everyone, pushing everyone hard. It's a lot of new, new type of game for the younger guys because they come off of playing for club teams, guys their age, their size. They're going against bigger guys now, and I think it's super important for them to realize that it's, it's a different game, and we don't want them to feel like they're jumping into new waters when they're going against these bigger guys. And we want them to keep them that keep that confidence that they had in tryouts and in their past teams. Moving over to the girls team, under the direction of longtime head coach Jamie Tropsa, the team has high hopes for this season after being Avon Co-op in the state championship last year. So far, the girls have had a promising start to the season. This year we're a really young team, so it's definitely going to be a different dynamic, but um, there's a lot of hustlers on the team, um, hard workers, and everybody just gets along really well, and the team dynamic is going really well as of so far. We did lose a lot of talented seniors, but everyone's been stepping up. It's like the team hasn't missed a beat. Everyone's giving 110% always, and we're always just working as one unit. Our team clicked really fast. Um, we lost a lot of really good seniors last year, but the freshmen coming in are hardworking, and I think we'll get the job done. Moving over to the wrestling mat, there is reason for optimism in the Blue Wave wrestling room this season. Head coach Greg Lewis is continuing to build the program. He has big numbers on the mat, which means Darian should be able to compete at all weight classes and be a competitive force in the FCAC. Now let's turn our attention over to the hardwood. Let's start with the boys basketball team. After having a tough season a year ago, there's new energy coming inside the main gym. First-year head coach Matt Menard is looking to propel a very young Wave team to new highs and are looking to qualify for both the FCAC and state playoffs. we got a lot of young talent this year, um, new coaching staff, uh, and a lot of new players this year, so expectations are definitely high. Um, I know there's some doubts, but I think we really brought the energy each and every day. Um, I think we continue to bring that throughout the season, um, and if we just continue that, I think we're going to reach our goal of definitely making FCAC and states. Everyone really just wants to be here, as you said. There's a lot of energy. Everyone really wants to be at practice, and I think that kind of set us a high bar. We all want to be here and just practicing every hard, really hard every day. And Yeah, I think we have a solid shot at making states and FCX this year. I think that the coaching staff's awesome here. Um, I think we have a really bright future ahead of us, and um, a lot of the players are happy to be here. And we got a lot of young talent, so yeah, pretty excited. Over on the girls' team, New head coach Steph Runis is in her first season as the head coach of the Darien girls basketball team. The Wave doesn't have a lot of depth and just one senior on the team, but it's a close-knit group with a lot of chemistry. The underclassmen definitely bring a lot of energy. They're eager to learn. It's an adjustment always because they haven't been playing varsity sports, but um, we're really excited. Practices have been really productive. We've been learning new plays, offenses, defenses. Um, it's been really good. We had our first few games, they've gone well, and we're hoping to continue to improve, and we're very optimistic about it. We're doing a lot more productive things in practice, and everyone's having a lot more fun. There's more smiles on the court, which is always good to see. And this group of girls in particular, everyone's really coachable, everyone's really friendly. It's, it's good, it's a really good atmosphere, so I'm really excited for this season. The team is really coming together with all the new underclassmen and I think we're just trying to really grow this program for years to come. The Darien boys swim and dive team is hoping to once again make a splash in the pool. 
The Blue Wave doesn't have much depth this season, but there's plenty of quality on the team. A run at the postseason is on the table, and of course, always building for the future. Well, this year's team is a little bit, uh, it's pretty unique because we don't have any seniors. Uh, and we lost a couple of guys. We don't have as many people as we did last year when I was in freshman year. We had 18. This year we're down to about 13 or 14. Well, even though our team is small, we are really close. Everyone knows everyone, so we have a very strong relationship, which will make our team a lot closer and stronger. Even though we do have a young team, a lot of the young members are really good. We've got a lot of year-round swimmers this year, so I mean, we're really excited to develop this team this year, and the next year we're going to try and drive home possibly a state championship. So, The boys and girls indoor track teams are prepping outdoors, but for the winter, the teams will compete at multiple indoor meets throughout the season, including multiple invitationals across Connecticut. Team records, bests, and titles are all in play for these student athletes. Darian has long had one of the most successful public high school boys and girls squash programs in the state. Both teams look to build on that tradition. New this year, the M Squash facility in South Norwalk is the new home for the Wave this season as they look to pick up key wins throughout the entirety of the year. Once again, the Darien YMCA is home to the Blue Wave gymnastics team. The Wave have a number of talented returning gymnasts from last season as it prepares for ultra-competitive schedule. The always competitive Darien ski team will once again hit the slopes out at Mount Southington out in Waterbury, Connecticut. And as always, the Darien cheer team will look to build on for this season. That's it for this DAF Media Special previewing the winter sports season. I've been Liam Tomaszewski, and we thank you for watching.